Sia and then take out the soap and it was like oh! Big package. Head out of the gutter, guys. Head out of the gutter. You are adorable. Oh, thank you. Can you blow me a kiss? I need energy today. There you go. Have a good day. Have a good day. Favorite way to wake up is seeing you on live. Oh, thank you. Honestly, favorite way to wake up is going live. I think live is such a good way to start the day. Reminds me I got good people in my life and, uh, I got a sick fan base and yeah and it starts my day off good you know what are you doing for Halloween I'm not sure a couple of my buddies are going out and and they invited me so I'm just picking and choosing which one I want to go to um might not even do anything might just watch Halloween movies who knows Maybe make some good content on Halloween. I'm playing it by ear. But yeah, I kind of want to go out and have some fun, you know? Yeah. Do you like scary movies? cuddle, chill, get scared, um, yeah, go out and party, I know, usually I'm like, like, I got such anxiety where I don't even like going out, like social media, like I can talk to you guys so well, and then like, but then I go out, and it's like, a really quiet, very quiet kid. So it's like, I don't really go out that much, you know? But I think I should start going out because it's like, you know, 21, got to get out, have some fun. So I got to kind of push myself. So I'm really trying to do that. Yeah, my social anxiety was bad. It's starting to get better, like really better. Like, I'm surprised how much better. And, uh, like, I'm just becoming more chill, like, with it. Um, but I still get anxiety just of something going wrong, something happening. Like, I'm always, like, looking over my shoulder, like, you know? And that's what I don't like about going out that much. Renita, thank you for the paper. Yeah, you know what I mean, guys? Like, but to go out, like, once in a while is, like, you really should. Like, I think, like, you go out, like, once, once on a weekend or something, you force yourself to go out, plan to come home early or something, but make sure you do go out, have some fun, because it is important. Never heard of Roots until you. I love it all. Thank you. That's sweet.
What is your favorite scent? That's that's a hard one, and I'm a smeller. Um, I love like sniffing, but like I don't know what my favorite scent is, cause like there's a lot of good scents, you know. That's a hard one. I would say like that soap, that Gucci soap's really good, or my obsession cologne. Mine is when it rains. Oh, that's nice. It is nice when it rains, actually. Like, right after it rains, it's, uh, it's nice. Fresh cut grass, that's a good smell. Girls smell good. Girls always tend to have that good smell. It's like, woo. Um... Smell a nice hockey hands, you know? Put your hockey hands in your girlfriend's face. Mmm. Tonya, thank you for the PayPal. Coffee, coffee is a good smell. The beach is a good smell, yeah. Rumor has it she's the one I'm leaving you. Oh, these words whisper in my ear. Oh. Fresh laundry. That's a good smell. Fresh laundry. Smell everything too, twinsies. Favorite ice cream? I love chocolate mousse right now. I know it's not, I don't think it's ice cream, I think it's like cake, but it's so good. Obsessed with chocolate mousse. And I've been going everywhere to find it, and I cannot find it. Actually, I got it yesterday, or when I went to the Skyline Tower with my mom and dad. I got it, but it wasn't as good. It was just kind of like, it was too saw. I know it was too like creamy. It was too like icing, icing y, you know? There's too much icing. You can make chocolate mousse pretty easy. Oh, that's cool. People are throwing tomatoes. They're not liking the show. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a comedian. Just cause I said it, who's it me? Lava cake, lava cake is so good. Lava cake used to be my favorite. We'd go to like ski trips and stuff and we'd eat lava cake. Oh, lava cake so good. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. I'm kind of like today, it's just kind of like one of those days where it's just like, just, just rainy, wet, chilling, kind of like, what should I do today, kind of day. So that's why I'm gonna practice my acting lines and I should do some yoga. So, you know, just do it. Even though yoga is such a pain, like yoga is such a hard friggin' workout. Like it's harder than working out but it's so good for you and you just feel like every muscle in your body, it's so nice. So nice. Yoga with Whitey, should we do yoga with Whitey one day? That'd be funny. Maybe we should do, that's what we should do, a yoga, a Whitey YouTube video, yoga session. That'd be funny. Is it hard? I missed that comment, shoot. Is it hard to quiet your mind? It is hard to quiet my mind. Like literally like, it'll be funny though, cause I've been listening to signs lately. I don't know if this sounds weird, but I've been listening to like signs lately. So like, 
if I'm like getting negative about something and I'm thinking about something, like my dad will say something at the same time I'm thinking about something weird. My dad will say something that like, like relates to what I was thinking about, but like more positive and I'll be like, whoa. Like I'll just get a bunch of signs like that lately. Like just say a hater comes in the chat and they're like, blah, blah, blah. And then like, I'll look over and like, I'll see a comment from like a positive person. Like, yeah. So look at your, look, pay attention guys, pay attention. Look at the, look at the signs, look at the signs around you. Cause they do matter. Chanel, thank you for the PayPal. Just cause I said it Doesn't mean I meant it Yeah, choosing this in a positive, yeah It's hard, cause sometimes you feel like there's no hope Like, it's like, why would I just think positive When it's like You know, I'm not gonna fake it You know, like If I'm negative, I'm negative Like, think about what's going on But it's good to push and really be positive it is. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still learning, you know? Trying to figure it out here. We all are. Just cause us. Focus on love. That's true. Focus on love. So do you like plums? Let's change subject. Plums. I like plums. Plums are the one with the nut in the middle, right? And it's like, plums are good. I used to pick plums off trees and throw them. They're good to throw too. Do you like candles? Yeah, candles are pretty nice. They scare me sometimes just because forget to like blow them out or something but candles are nice good to throw <laughs> I think I'm gonna make a shirt for my merch it's gonna say it's going to be me like this. Then like all my fans around me, it's going to say me and my moms. Me and my moms. I used to always say it to my buddies, I used to say moms. Like I used to be like the moms and they'd always laugh. They'd be like, why do you always say moms, the moms? <laughs> so I thought that'd be funny, me and my moms. But it's not actually going to happen. I'm not actually putting that on my merch, but I thought that'd be funny. Um, yeah, it's like another kind of like another willism. Yeah, M U M S, moms. The moms. It's like, where are the moms? Well, why do you say moms? The moms. Who are the moms? I'm like, like the moms, like your, like our moms. Where, where are the moms? Are you going to watch the World Series? Um, no. I don't really watch baseball, but... You never know. I might watch it with my dad or something if it's on. Just cause I said it. See, moms is better than elders. <laughs> true, true. Go Braves, go Grizz. Watch Alabama football? No, but Alabama is sick for football. I, that's all I know. Atlanta Braves. Yeah, like, I don't even watch baseball unless it's, like, just on TV Sunday, just laying down watching baseball. But I'd like to get into it. It's a pretty sweet sport.
Three said thank you for the PayPal. Okay, you guys are my girlfriends. I never said you weren't my girlfriends. Actually, you guys can't be my mom's and my girlfriends, so that'd be weird. Um, what do we do? Okay, you're just my girlfriends. All right. Shout out to Bianca in Germany. Shout out to Bianca. All right, that works. Your girls, my my girls. It's sweet. Sharon, thank you for the PayPal. Um, thank you. I like that. My girls. I got a lot of girls on my side. Sweet. Favorite memory. Oh, that's a good one. Favorite memory. I'd say favorite memory. Favorite memory probably when I was like a kid. I was like eight years old. It was my first year of hockey. I was playing uh, house league, so I was like, it's my first year just playing house league, whatever. And I was new to this town. It was a small town. So like, new to the school, new playing hockey. And I ended up like making it to the championship this one year. And uh, the championship game, my uncle came, my aunt came, and I like wanted to win so bad. So I went so friggin' hard played my butt out and it went into like second overtime so like I thought it would never end and all I wanted to do was win this game I was like oh I just want to win finally I take the puck I go around skate 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 went around everyone breakaway backhand upstairs we won the game the crowd went nuts and I just remember that like being like a crazy moment because like we were supposed to lose um, they were all over us, and then when I won and the crowd just went nuts, threw our helmets off, threw our buckets, it was sad. So that's a really good memory. And then like high school memories, for sure. It's been some good high school memories. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that's what started the hockey career, because I was like, I was only house league, and then that was my first year house league, and I went from house league to like, double a played like one year double a year up and then after that i uh went to triple a yeah that's when i played with drew uh double a he was goalie i was forward then i went to play for the hurricanes triple a and then played triple a until i was like yeah, I played AAA. AAA is really good. I played AAA my whole life until I was like 17. And then I wanted to play in the OHL. But right when high school came, grade 10, started just kind of, you know, getting into the wrong stuff. And then I just didn't take it serious. I was like, you know what? Instead of going to the OHL, I'll just play um, junior B. So I started playing Junior B, and then I just slowly just started taking it not serious, not serious. And then before you know it, the dream slips, slips right out of your hand, and then it's gone. And then you gotta find something else, so don't lose your dream. Yeah, things do happen for a reason and new dreams, exactly. That's true. And yeah, I probably wouldn't have, probably wouldn't be here if I was playing hockey, so. It's pretty cool. Buffy has COVID, Q Center love. Everyone send love to Buffy. Buffy, 
we're sending love your way. Hopefully, uh, everything's okay on your end. And uh, stay strong. Stay strong. What part of your body do you like the most? See, back in the day, I was a big fan of my triceps. Had wicked triceps. Um, now, no, it used to be my abs, actually. Back in the day, I was like, yo, I got sick abs. But then I kind of lost the abs. I got a barrel. And then it's like, shoot. Now I got to get those abs back. I'd say my favorite part, probably... That's so hard. I don't know. I'd probably say arms still. Like I got, I still got nice arms. My chest isn't too big right now. It's getting there though. I've been working on the chest. My back's not too big. My abs are getting better. Um, my legs are getting better. I like the legs. Heart, hands, yeah. No, I'm definitely not perfect, guys. What's your favorite day of the week and why? <sighs> I'd say favorite part of the week, believe it or not, is either... I'd say Monday, Monday... Either Monday or Friday, believe it or not. Because Friday, it's like, yeah, it's the weekend. Monday, it's like, yeah, it's time to grind again. You know? So it's like, you get excited for both. And Friday, you know, football is coming up on Sunday, which is sick. Yeah, I know Monday, Monday usually isn't people's favorite, but like, Honestly, I would probably say Friday and Sunday. Because Sunday, you're kind of excited after for Monday. You're like, you know what, let's get back to the grind, you know? And then, but then Monday comes and you're like, oh, I just want it to be Friday. Like, oh, you know? Favorite football team. See, I'm not sure, like, Literally, like, a new sick player comes on the team. I like that team. Kind of like a bandwagon that way. But it's just because I'm not, like, a diehard, diehard sports fan for, like, any team, really. I just kind of like sports. Like, I'm probably the only fan that likes Montreal and the Leafs. You know? I don't think many people might do that. Bucks. Your curls are on point. Yeah, they're on point today, you know? The curls are on point. <laughs> the curls are on point. Girls for the girls. Girls for the girls. You're growing your hair out again? Yeah, but I honestly don't want it to, to get too long because I look back at pictures back in the day and wow, can't believe I let my hair get that long. Like there was a point and I don't remember, yeah. You guys are my fans at that point. Do you guys remember? I think you guys were my fans at that point. Cause it was right before I went to Calgary and then I got my hair. No, no, you guys weren't. No, nope. it was literally right before I blew up on Memorial Day weekend. I had long, long hair. And, and then I go to Calgary and I cut it kind of like Rob Lowe and then it kind of blew. So I don't like it like too long like that. It looks too like, you know, I kind of like it at the shape it's at right now. Just a little long, you know, good for the beanies. 
good for beanie season. Last year, when I was growing out my hair, I literally tried to grow it like, I was like, let's just grow it like all the way out. Like I was going like as long as I can. Like I wanted like, <sighs> but this year I'm like getting a little older and it's like, do I want long hair? But then you see like, there's some like guys that are like models and they're like 28 years old with like sick long curly hair. Looks good, looks good, thank you. You guys like that beanie? Got all my beanies here. The North Face beanie I'm excited to bring out to the hill. You know, it's like snow, the mountains. North Face, North Face. good thank you guys model for north face maybe one day be a more maybe they'll want me in the ski hill looking sick oh thank you thank you thank you that means a lot to me thank you donna happy birthday happy birthday donna Have you tried meditation? Have you tried meditation? It's so good, yes. Um, I still do meditation sometimes, but not as much as I should be. But meditation is sick. Um, clears your mind. Um, yeah, meditation's where it's at. But meditation is hard, exactly. It's very hard. Because your, uh, your mind tends to drift when you're trying to focus on that breath. But the more you can just focus on that breath, just the more you stay in the present moment. And then as soon as you get up from that meditation, you feel way more like connected to the world and you feel very focused and it's nice. Kate, thank you for the PayPal and saying your heart is pure gold. Thank you. How old are you? I am 21. 21 years old, born February 1st, 2000. My name's William, William Wyatt. What do you like most about your fans? I like most about my fans, the commitment. And yeah, just like you guys like commit more than like any other fans, you guys are there. For me, my family, my friend, like everyone, you guys are like, yeah. The commitments, like, I don't think there's any other fans really like it, except like probably like Justin Bieber or something, but yeah. So thank you guys for that, for being so committed and uh, believing, believing in me. It's a big thing, so thank you. Love you guys too. Have you seen Breaking Bad? No. Walter White? That's all I know. Walter, Walter White. Uh oh. Hat hair. Is it good? See, I watched like a little bit of it and then I drifted off like. Can you guys sit there and watch like a show? Like I have such like bad anxiety or whatever you want to name it, where I cannot sit through a show because I just watch and I think of something and then I just think of that and then I think of that and then I think of that. Like I'm like, but I kind of like envy people that can like, like I really want to be able to like watch a show like that. Like that's just sit there and just watch a whole series. 
yeah tiktok frig tiktok ruins that because it's like tiktok so quick it's like you know like just quick little films instead of watching like long walking dead my buddy loved walking dead watched it all that's another long series you ruined me no I didn't ruin you. Food you do not like. Food I do not like. I'm starting to like like all food. You know, it used to be like seafood and stuff, like clams and like that stuff I didn't like. Now I'm starting to like it all. I would say though, the food I really don't like I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but I can see my taste buds sneaking up on me a little. And I think I would like mushrooms soon. Um, yeah, there's not much I don't like. Salmon, I, I like salmon. Salmon's all right. It's not the best though, but I'll eat it. Scallops. Liver, oh, yeah, liver does not sound good. Lobster, lobster is so good, but I'm kind of getting sick of lobster. Not sick of it, like, but it's not like the same. And when they heat the lobster up too much, where it's like almost like soft, you know, like it's not as chewy, it's kind of like soft. I hate that. I don't know why they do that sometimes. It's like, oh. Overcooked, yeah. Favorite soda. Mm. Favorite soda, I'd say just like a plain like Coke, Coca-Cola. Or I'd say like like crush, like not orange crush, but pink crush. Root beer is pretty good. Root beer is pretty good. Is this a root sweater? Yes, it is. Your boy Whitey dripping in the roots hoodie. Oh. I got two more days into my acting. So I gotta start getting ready. I've had like a week to get ready, so I gotta I gotta be ready. So I'll definitely practice those scenes today. Never had a pink crush. Ooh, the pink crush is so good. practice with us I would practice with you guys but feel like it'll get a little boring you know just because uh, and like no one else can be like Rachel like to Sam Jordan you guys can't read it right so but I'll just I'll just read it over a bunch of times and uh Yeah. Jordan, poor Jordan, you know? Like Rachel has ripped on Jordan. Rachel has said some nasty things to Jordan. I literally feel bad for the guy. Well, I feel bad for me, right? Because I'm Jordan. So I feel bad for me. Um, yeah, it's just like, Burrito. But you know, Jordan will move on. I guess he realized he got the girl he liked. You know, what I learned from this is that love will just come that more naturally. You know, you don't have to fight for something too hard. 
if you fight for it too hard. Probably doesn't like you. You know? Yeah, I guess it's her loss. She didn't seem too sad to leave me though, like the things that she said. She said I wasn't good in bed, which took her a year to tell me, which means she was faking the whole time. So, it's, but you know what? At least she's being honest with me and she's telling me now before we actually get married. But it's just like, wow, I was so blinded. Blinded by the lights, you know? This is an acting scene, by the way, guys, for new people or anyone that's in here that doesn't know what's going on. This isn't real. Just an acting scene. She cray. She cray. Yeah, like she was my best friend. I finally got her. So I guess I'll still be best friends with her. I'm just very upset with her that she kind of played me. Well, she did, but you know. So I'm not talking to her for a while, giving her a break, let her do what she wants. She'll realize that nice guys win it in the end, you know? It's not all, all about how good you are in bed. How's the acting, guys? Yeah, I was friends with her. We were best friends. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, so I guess I'll just like, for the rest of the week, so this is what's cool about acting, you know? So if you ever get bored in life, where you're just like, you know, life gets boring sometimes, acting is cool, because it's like, so for the rest of this week, I get to like, play Jordan. So like, for the whole week until like, me and my acting coach do that scene, I pretty much just pretend I'm actually Jordan. So I live like the life of Jordan. And you go through like the emotions. So that's what's cool about acting, you know? You go through like all those emotions and it makes it feel real. Then you almost feel like you're actually like living someone else's life in their shoes. And yeah. So to play a bunch of characters throughout a lifetime will teach me a lot and it'll be it'll be really cool, you know? And then I'll learn what characters I play better and which characters I play worse. So. You know, I wish I went harder in drama class in high school. Kind of took drama as a joke, but now looking back at it, I really should have went hard in drama. If I didn't play hockey, I probably would have went hard in drama though. Because I would have been like, yo, I want to be an actor. But I was all like hockey, hockey, hockey. We're excited to see you on the big screen. Hopefully one day, guys. Big screen. Hit a movie. You know? I gotta believe in myself more though. I believe I can do it. You know? Come on, Will. You can do it, bro. You can do it. You can do it. Make it happen. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Is it hard to do yoga since you're tall? Yes, it is. Because for new joiners, I'm 6'8". See, obviously, I'm touching the roof. It's hard being 6'8". So when I'm <clears throat> doing these positions, it's hard to get down there, you know? It's like, oh. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm not 6'8". Imagine I was 6'8". Would I be hotter if I was 6'8", guys? 6'8",
super muscular, plays basketball. What do you guys think? Okay, thanks guys. So I don't need to get taller. Thank you. Six feet tall. Are you going to Nashville with jocks? I'm not sure. I heard about that. And we'll see what my schedule looks like around then. Hopefully though, that'd be cool. Um, We love the long hair. Thank you. I'm six feet tall, by the way, guys. No way. Oh my gosh, I seen your commercial on TV yesterday. That is sick. What commercial was it? Was it the Simons one? That's cool. On Simons commercial. I'm excited for the other one to come out too. The other one was like, like, do you guys remember when I was in that green, excuse me. Do you guys remember when I was in that green suit on TikTok with like the Michael Blue song? I know it's crazy now, and in this crazy life. So that's, that TikTok was the night of the other commercial that I did, which was very like classy, very classy commercial. So I'm excited for that commercial too. That's gonna be a good commercial. That was my first commercial. Um, it was good. Um, yeah. Walking out of the elevator. How did you know? Walking out of the elevator. Cause that is, yeah, we were walking. Okay, I told you guys, okay. I was like, oh, have so you guys seen it? I don't know about it. All right, sweet. Yeah, so that, that commercial is gonna be sick. I was in Montreal. Wow, we've had, We've literally, guys, had a friggin' solid year, you know? Like, what a change. Like, I go from landscaping and, like, dreaming to, like, this year, like, kind of, like, living my dream, you know? And it's been a sick ride. It's been fun. So, like, I'm very grateful for this year and how it's gone. I'm very, very grateful. Um... I just hope it just keeps getting better and I hope, um, yeah, I hope things just get better and, you know, hope everything's positive moving forward. I know not everything's gonna be positive, but you know what I mean? Thank you guys. Wait till next year, strap up, that's it. You know, hopefully we kill it guys. <clears throat> Definitely nervous for this year. You know, the anxiety gets worse and worse every year, it seems like, but you learn how to deal with it and fight through it, and it's good. Deneen, thank you for the PayPal. You're never alone, thank you. Just gotta have God in our lives too. That, I really believe, I'm, and I'm believing that more and more as I get older, that God is very good to have in your life. It's true. 
just good to have like someone to talk to and just like keep you grounded and you know helps you listen to your heart Haley thank you for the PayPal Hope and work. That's it. Hope. Just hope, work, hope, work, hope, work. If it doesn't work, you keep hoping and working. Yeah. Jane, thank you for the PayPal and saying thanks for being you. Thank you. Does tapping the screen help you? I think so. See, I'm not like a... I don't really know what that is, but I think so because it's giving me likes. So thank you guys if you guys are tapping. You guys don't have to tap like crazy though if it's hurting your fingers or something, you know, take a little break. It's okay. Pushes you on FYP. Okay, beauty. Yes, tap, guys. Tap, 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 tap. Cause these crazy nights. When are you happiest? I'm the happiest when I'm just like free from my mind. Like I get these little moments where it's like all of this like stress that I'm holding in my head and my my shoulders just gets lifted off and I can finally just live and it's like, oh, it feels so good. So that's when I'm the happiest. Lauren, thank you for the PayPal. Ask God to free your mind. I know I'm begging God and I'm begging God that, and I feel it coming, I feel like, and I don't want to jinx it, knock on wood, but that I wake up and I feel like it's coming soon and all my worries are just off and I just start living, just start living life. Just live life. And uh, that's what we're working for, towards. Are you in deep thoughts today? I guess I kind of, you know, but we get, we get deep talking in here, which, uh, I'm not complaining about. Stephanie, thank you for the PayPal. Don't worry. Be happy. Can you play some music? I know. Should I play a little bit of music? I just, I'm running out of music, you know, I gotta refresh the playlist. People are getting pissed off at me for playing the same music, which I don't blame. Kelly, thank you for the PayPal. Should we get another coffee? Final coffee. To make me sick. Word of the day, believe. So I said hope, and it's funny that someone said believe, because I was thinking of believe. That's a really good one. Um, believe. That's what, yeah, so believe, hope, kind of tie together. Those would be like the words of the day. Pretend a necklace cross like that. It says believe and hope because we don't need music okay yeah because we'll do like we'll do music lives um like we do our music lives sometimes it's nice just to talk you know no music my dance moves are also getting a little dusty and i'm kind of running away from that which i shouldn't be i gotta practice the dance moves so yeah, um, time to work on the dance moves. 
Because he's crazy, that's for you, it's all me. You have an amazing heart, listen to it. It's true. You know, and nobody's perfect because like you listen to your heart and you try to do things or you try to do what's right. Then you realize it's not right, but you didn't even know, you know, so nobody's perfect. Did you decide your Halloween costume? No, I didn't, but I got two Spider-Man costumes from you guys. Um, thank you, Michelle, for the PayPal. Um, and yeah, they, one of them does not fit. One of them is so tight, guys. You guys don't even know um, what happened. Um, I haven't tried the other one out, so we'll have to try it on. But we gotta get a sick costume going. Sure. No, I don't think you guys want to see it. I can barely fit it on. Like I was like, put it over, oh, then it ripped. I was like, geez, and I'm like, so yeah, we gotta get a new costume. For all these crazy lives. Superman. Your muscles ripped it, yes, my muscles ripped it. Because it's crazy. It's working out, all this working out. This is getting slimmer. Thank you. See like, what, right there? Or a tiny bit of a double chin. It's not good for modeling. So I'm just trying to get this a little slimmed down, trying to grind it out a bit. Or it's looking like that. And if it's looking like that, I'll be good with pictures. saying I know I know trust if I was playing hockey I wouldn't be complaining about this I would be like you know but modeling is very picky and it's hard to take good photos because the more like kind of like ripped you are the easier it is to like feel your body and like know like how you look behind the camera you know Cause he's crazy love. Thank you guys for the positive comments. We are making another coffee right now and it is 
almost 10 o'clock. Yeah, Chris Nichols was first big photographer I worked with and is an uh, unreal guy. As long as an unreal photographer. But you need to know you're stunning just the way you are. Thank you guys. That means a lot. Um, yeah. Favorite Halloween candy? I'm not sure. Like probably like just like a bunch of chocolate. Your curls look like horns. They do right now. Look at a cute little devil. Cute little devil. <clears throat> kind of like the horns. What's your favorite color? Favorite color? Green. I'd say green. I love green. Honestly, my favorite color is this green. Like, dirty lake water green like sewage green. <laughs> Sarah, thanks for the paper. Like, maybe we should do something better than sewage green. I'd say like ocean green. Emerald, emerald, that's better. Yeah. Instead of dirty lake water or, what was the other one I said? sewage water yeah i like emerald emerald river green Ooh, that's nice river green it's river green down by the river and it is like forest and river green so itchy just want to itch it jade my daughter's name nice name um why is jade a color? Is that what that is? Jade? Put moisturizer. Yes, I got it. I'll put it on right after the live. When I put it on, it's literally just this big glob of cream. Oh, jade. That's a nice color. Jade. That's a really nice name, actually, now. Jade. I didn't know that. All right, let's get rid of these horns. Frig. Come on, Will. It's the devil on this shoulder. The angel on that shoulder. This guy's taking over. There you are. Where have you been, dude? Frig. I like the horns, I don't know.
best piece of advice I've ever gotten. I'd say the best piece of advice I've ever gotten was to not worry about things you can't control. My dad really tells me that. He's like, do not worry about things you can't control. And I know it sounds hard, but like, that's like a muscle you gotta work. Cause the more you just worry about things you can't control, the more like, you know, you get all messed up. So things you can't control, you need to push through it and learn to fight through it. So, you know, it, it sucks cause you wanna change things you can control somehow, but like you, if you can't, you can't. So it's like nothing you can do about it. You just gotta move on and do what you can do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kelly, thank you for the PayPal. Someone spilled their coffee. Ouch. Smart dad, yeah. Who hit you? No one hit me, it's an infection. We'll definitely make a TikTok. I was gonna make a TikTok. Well, I was gonna go live with my mom today, which I thought you guys would like. So soon we'll go live with my mom. We'll go live with my dad. We'll make a TikTok with my dad. We'll, uh, we'll involve them a little more. Cause I know you guys will like that. Baby, never do drugs, please. No. Um, yeah, drugs aren't good. I don't do drugs now. Not saying I haven't, you know, high school, having fun, partying, but definitely drugs stay away from. They mess your life up and they make you sketch. And it's just like, you don't need that in your life. Stay clean, stay healthy, stay smart. Would love to see your mom nice. modeling world it's bad yes it probably is it's honestly bad everywhere though like even in hockey like everywhere it's bad so it's like you just got to stay away from it how's your little bro doing he's good but the little fricker doesn't answer my text. I'll be like, I literally text him like, yo, how you doing? Yo, miss you, bro, what's good? Guy doesn't answer my text ever. It's like, bro, like, frig, like, I'm here for you. You're going through, like, all this stuff. And you got a nice brother that's here for you. Guy doesn't even care. But I get it, I get it. He's like, he's a teenager, yeah, and he's just like, you know, he thinks, like, he doesn't want to listen to his older brother. He wants to just do his own thing. Like, he's, like, he thinks he knows it all. But it's, like, bro, like, you don't. Like, I, did you not learn from me? Like, I went through so much, like, poo just because of my dumb decisions. And then you're not listening. Like, you haven't learned from me. Like, come on, bruh. Come on. He cares, don't stop texting him. That's true, and that's why I just keep texting him because I just want him to, all I want him to know, he doesn't even have to text back. To be honest, we don't even need to have a conversation, bro. Like, all our conversation is gonna be, how are you, how are you doing? Good, nice. I just wanna see, all I wanna know is that you know that I'm friggin' here for you no matter what, and you can text me whenever you want. So, you know? Favorite holiday tradition? I would say favorite holiday tradition. I'd say favorite, so favorite holiday would be like, I'd say Christmas or Halloween. I like Christmas, Halloween. 
You're going to be a good dad. Oh, thank you. You know? Thank you. Have you some religion? Yes, some religion. I'm talking about God today. guys thank you what have you been working on on um, my body my room my mindset my stress Are you baptized? No, I'm not baptized. So I'm Christian, not Catholic. My mom was Christian, so then I was Christian. My mom really believes, like, like she's all about God, 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 God. She's like, you have God in your life, you'll be good, trust, have God in your life. So I, like, I always, like, believed it, but a part of me was like, you know what, like, there's... Like, you know, like being stubborn, like there's no way someone's out there, no way, like, you know, I didn't want to, like, I almost like didn't want to believe it, but now that I get older, I really do want to believe it, and I think I really do, like, believe it, and I'm, that's what I'm trying to work on more and more as I get older, is believing more, because the more you believe, the happier you're going to be, so if you can practice just believing and believing in something, happy you're gonna be, you're gonna feel like you have someone there, and you know, so, so yeah, so that makes me a Christian now, and I believe, and yeah, how's acting, acting's going good, um, he, my acting coach is at a hockey tournament this week with his son, so we had to miss today, which I would have had an acting class today, but I don't, so I'm gonna practice my lines today though, and uh, Thursday, I got my next acting class, which will probably be my last acting class until I start taping. So that's going to be exciting. Start doing some personal tapes, sending them out there. And uh, yeah. Any new projects? So I'm kind of waiting for January, February to maybe go to Europe. Um, they're pretty much just waiting for me to get my body in shape so they can send me out at the right timing. You know, they don't want to send me out um, when I'm not looking perfect. You know what I mean? So, which is reasonable. I want want my reputation to be good right away when I get out there. And uh, so, yeah, that's kind of, I think, the next project. So I'm working on that, working away on that. Should be fun. And yeah. When will you come to America? See, I'm not sure. As soon as this visa, I'm trying to get my visa approved. Since I did like Kelly Clarkson and I did New York Times, um, hopefully they let me through. There's been models though with like sick resumes that didn't even get through. Like they're being very hardcore right now. So kind of just like waiting to find out here. Hopefully I get through, go to the visa, I mean get my visa and get through um, like ASAP. Eventually I will for sure. I'll be out in the States, I don't doubt it within the next year. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. If not, if I have to just travel around Europe for like a couple of years or whatever, do that. But don't worry guys, I'll make it out there to America ASAP. America's where it's at. America's where it's at. Hollywood, baby. Me and Kelly, we want to go to Hollywood one day. We have a Kelly and Will show. A little, like, a podcast or something. 
New York City. That's sick. Europe, Europe is sick. Oh, uh, my brother's going to school right now, yeah. He's in high school. It's so weird for them. So, like, he started high school with masks, wearing masks. And it just, like, blows my mind. It's like, this guy, like, you're wearing masks through all of high school. It's kind of crazy. I just saw a comment about Dallas Stars, but I missed it. Yeah, like, you know, me and Kelly could do, like, a little comedy for sure. You know? I'll be, like, I'll be that model. He'll be, like, that agent. And we'll just literally talk about, like, the model and, like, like the acting, like, the art life. And uh, we'll talk about, like, normal life stuff, too, and just kind of, like, have fun. I think that'd be really funny. Yeah, like we had some fun with Kel's guys, like us, um, like the lives in Montreal, like, you know, we had some fun, a lot of fun. Can I send you a fan letter? Um, yeah, I'm trying to get a PO box guys so you guys can send me more stuff. I'm really trying to like not get people to like send stuff to my house because it is a little sketchy, like people knowing my address. Um, I'm just waiting to get this PO box set up because we're still kind of talking about it if it's like a good idea. Um, but I'll let you guys know, I'll keep you guys updated because then you guys can start just sending stuff to that and it'll just be more safe, you know, not to my house. Send it to Kelly's office. Yeah, you can send it to Kelly's office for now. Um, yeah, but, and then eventually I'll open a P.O. box. Do an Amazon wish list. That'd be cool, actually. See, that's why I'll talk to Kelly and, like, we'll probably, right away, get a link tree set up. So, like, I'll have, like, my link tree, and then we could talk about what we put on there. If we put an Amazon wish list, P.O. box, my PayPal... Whatever you guys want to do to donate and support, throw it in that link tree with my Instagram and Snapchat. And then you guys can have all, like, whatever you want. You guys can do that. My merch, exactly. I have to go clock in for work now. Okay, have a good day at work. Kill it, all right? Finish strong, have some hope, believe push through it today, let's go. YouTube channel. YouTube channel, I actually wrote in my notes yesterday. I wanna to talk to Kelly about it. So I'll talk to him right when he gets up today. Um, just to have some ideas, what he thinks, you know, get some ideas from him um trying to think if i need like i might just get my iphone 13 and then start grinding on that youtube channel i'll get my macbook charger get a desk over there set it up and then we can do like so when i get the p.o box we'll do like a video of us opening gifts um we'll do a video of us uh decking out the room like kind of like just a new like upcoming project every time and we'll get like excited for it and we'll do it. And that's why I'm really excited for YouTube. I started YouTube and then I kind of stopped because I was like, I ran out of ideas. But now that I'm getting older, I realize you just got to kind of find an idea and just make, make your own sick video to it. So I'm getting good ideas and I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to do it. You get so many gifts, P.O. Box. I know. I, that's why it would be freaking so cool 
to open gifts and uh you know it's like christmas freaking morning for me opening gifts thanks to you guys and yeah we have good ideas we do have good ideas You need a notebook to write all your thoughts down. I know, so I got a couple notebooks lately, but I've just been writing them in my notes on my phone. But my storage is full now. My phone's starting to glitch out and stuff, so it's been brutal. Um, so that's why I'm gonna go to get a new phone ASAP with a bunch of gigabytes, and then I'll be blessed. Yeah. Use your iPad, yes, so, guys, like, part of me didn't even want to pick up that iPad because it's so generous of you guys, you know? Like, these expensive gifts are just, like, amazing. Thank you. But I also feel like sometimes just, like, you know, I hate taking stuff like that, like, oh. Uh, Thanks, guys. Yeah, you know, though, I just don't, like... I just want you guys, like, to know, and I say this all the time, but you guys don't have to send me gifts. Um, and especially, like, really expensive gifts like that, it's like, you don't have to do that. But it's so sweet, and I just want to know... I want you to know that I'm thankful for it. And, yeah. Love you guys. What can we do better to support you guys? I don't have to do anything better to support. You guys are doing all you can do. Um, you guys are doing so good. If I would suggest something that would help me, probably be just keep making edits. Keep making sick edits. Get myself out there. You know, have fun with the edits. Like, make your own cool edits. And, uh, yeah, the more videos that get out there, the more people will see it. And, uh... So yeah, keep making those cool edits, guys. I love them. I love them. Fave edit this week. That's what I should do. I should do like a favorite edit every week. That's a smart idea too. Katie, thank you for the PayPal. Favorite edit this week. I don't remember now, like what edits there were. There's always a bunch of cool ones though. Actually, there was one I think I saved. Oh, I forget. It was a sick edit though. And I even replied to the person. I said, unreal edit or something. Cause it was like, it was like a sick song and it was just like the pictures. I think it was like touch my body. So I'm like, touch my body. But I just look sick, like sick pictures. So I was like, yo, it's sick. You always forget. I do always forget, and it's a problem. It is a problem. Um, I'll be talking mid-sentence, and sometimes I'm like, what are we talking about again? Jesus. Um, it runs in my family, though. And, yeah. ADD, yes. Literally ADD. Michelle, thank you for the PayPal and saying thanks for the pop up live today. So, yeah, I did a pop up live today, guys. Um, I didn't invite everyone, I mean, I didn't tweet it, so it wasn't like a mass. I thought, you know what, I'll sneak in a live and see who joins. We got not as many people as we get, but. It was good. Uh, it's good how I can talk to more people like one on one and we'll start doing lives like more like daily lives. We'll try to do more daily lives so we can. Um, so we can talk.
So yeah, guys, we'll open that. I'll talk to Kelly and talk about opening a PO box so we can, so you guys can do the sending the gifts. Thank you guys. And so it'll just be easier. And then I can actually open it and everything will be okay. You know, like, besides my PO box, safe way to do it. Then we can do some gift openings. Sorry, my dad just called me. We got a Toronto Maple Beliefs hoodie. Not bad. Wanted to bring my mom to a Leafs game soon. So now I can wear this. Sweet. Thank you. Press with me around, I will listen more. Oh. Nice, we got some good NHL stuff going on. We got some good university clothes going on. Like, excuse me, we got some good hoodies. Your tweets make my entire day. Okay, good. That's why I'm gonna tweet more. And, cause I was thinking about that, like I do tweets like, oh, I'm going live or good morning. And cause it's half the time, you know, like you don't know what, don't know what to say, like, I want to say some motivational quote, but don't know what to say. But what I'll start doing too is I'll just kind of say, hey, how are you guys? Do like little short interactions and and I'll start retweeting stuff that I think is cool so you guys can see it too. Like I'll retweet like um, the facts page with like facts and then I'll see like all you guys go and retweet it or something. So I'll do that. And yeah, have fun with Twitter. Twitter. Today I did not do the morning live tweet. I thought, you know what? I won't tell anyone I'm going live. Let's see how many people we get in it. Let's do a surprise live. And kind of worked out pretty good, you know? We got like a good number, 1.7K. Um, and it's, you know, it's easier to talk to uh, people and uh, it's been a chill life. I'm thinking tomorrow, we'll probably do a live too tomorrow. At some point, maybe an evening live tomorrow. Yeah. Did you see Drew yesterday? No, I didn't. Didn't end up getting to see him. I want a Sidney Crosby jersey. Love hockey jerseys. Hockey jerseys are sick, eh? Hockey jerseys are sick. Football jerseys are sick, too. Baseball jerseys are sick. Convinced you run. Oh, I missed it. I missed what you said. Convinced you run something I convinced you run a Twitter page shoot I missed what you said I gotta find that Detroit Red Wing jersey guys because I still lost that Detroit Red Wings jersey and it's like oh like where is it oh the fax page no I don't run the fax page no, I actually made a fax page if you guys want to go and search it up after. It was when I was like a little kid. 
So you'll see like me tweeting when I was a little kid. It's called Not William White. So if you search up on Twitter, Not William White, it uh, it's all my facts, and I would say my own facts. And yeah, and honestly, they weren't facts, but I thought it was funny at the time. So yeah, Not <clears throat> Not William White. If you want to check that out. Red Top is at Anne's house. True, it probably is at Anne's house. And I'm going there tonight. So sweet. Sweet home Alabama. Any GTA. I've been getting bored of Xbox, to be honest. Like, you know. I'm getting to the stage where I'm ready to just get out and go do stuff more. And not just always just sit inside, play Xbox and chill. Yeah. It's still fun sometimes, but it's getting a little boring. Tell Anne I say hello. I will for sure, for sure. I will for sure. She'll be happy to hear that. Don't be a hermit. Exactly. Literally. I can be such a hermit. Um, yeah. My friends will rip on me for that too, but it's just because, I don't know, I like to stay in, you know? I'm a I'm an introvert. I used to be an extrovert. Now I'm an introvert. But whatever. It is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Join a real gym. Yeah, I, I have a gym membership and it goes till February, so I can still go there. So sometimes on my days off when I'm not doing my trainer workout, I could go to the gym. But that would be a lot of work, you know? And yeah, you know, I might just stick to my workouts when I'm doing it right now and then start going to the gym again. But yeah, I still have a membership there till February, so I could go whenever. My birthday is tomorrow. Go live during a workout, workout live. That'd be sweet. Meet your girlfriend at the gym. That'd be a good way to meet a girl at the gym. You know, you're lifting some weights, she's lifting. She drops the weight. You're like, oh, do you need some help with that? Yeah, actually, I do. Okay. It's all on the hips. It's all on the hips. Yeah, I, I, that'd be a great way to meet a girl. Great acting scene. Right? Yeah, right, teacher. We drop things on purpose. Do you guys? Do you guys? When's your acting class this week? My acting class this week is Thursday. Thursday. So two days, I gotta get ready um, with my lines and yeah. Wow, yeah. See, I knew, yeah. I had a feeling people would do that stuff on, or girls would do that on purpose. Girls, girls can be bad, very bad. Thank you for your attention with answering questions. No problem, I love doing it. Honestly, it's fun answering questions. No, we are smart, yes. It's true, very smart. Girls are very smart. Like it's actually like shocking how smart they are. I saw a cool website about you. Oh, no way. What website was it? 
That's cool. Hey, did you dag your new car? Not yet. We'll get, we're getting the new car tomorrow, which is so exciting. We'll get the new car. You gotta show us the new car. Oh, I will for sure, guys. For sure. Car talk with PJ, exactly. In the new car, it's gonna be sweet. You know, that's when I'll do a talking video. I'll be like, what's up, guys? We're gonna pick up the new whip right now. Get the new whip. Yeah, like, there you go, dad. Hug pops, get emotional, and then, then er, 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 er. All right, guys. You know what? I know it's sad. I don't even want to go, to be honest, but. I got a pee so freaking bad. It is crazy. I've been drinking a lot of water. So I'm gonna go to the washroom now, wrap it up. We've been on live for a good while. Um, I know I'm sorry I miss you guys already, but it is time to go get my day started, you know. Um, thank you guys for coming in again. I love you guys so much. Um, might be going live tomorrow. I'll keep you guys updated. Sometimes I do surprise lives though. So if you want to catch me on live guys, turn on that live notification so you can catch me on live. Um, and yeah, hope you guys had a, hope you guys have a good day and hope you guys had fun today in my life. Um, all right, love you.